beliefs um, and how they differ from other cultures and other families, um, being aware of that and not making that impact on my day-to-day -day running of the centre and the room. Yeah. Opened my eyes to a lot of things. I don't have to make big changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the littlest change in the way I talk, the way I communicate, makes me feel a lot better and more confident that's about it. It. about yes. the way my relationships with um, the families at my centre. And being confident in ourselves yeah. allows us to develop those relationships yes. easier, I guess, and better. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think yeah. that, um, and not only with just families, but with staff Absolutely. as well. Mm -hmm. um, communication, this has helped me build... Um, uh, better relationships mm -hmm. um, with not only my families mm -hmm. but with my staff as well. Um, I take it home mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. with the way I talk is <laughs> totally different. And I think it was very open. It allowed you to um, become aware of your own biases. Like it was quite open, mm -hmm. wasn't it? You know, we all have biases. Yeah. So let's talk about them. Let's yeah. get it all out there. So it, yeah, it allowed us to be very open and. And learn from each other. I, yeah. I learned lots from yeah, everybody. I, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that one Indian family that we've got, I now step back and think that that's their family culture and that's the way they do things. So now I step back and I think it's not for me to change it and incorporate how we do it. We should be incorporating how they do it into our mm. program and not just doing things tokenistically, to mm. tokenistically like Jazz said before, just to have it on your program because it looks good, that we're actually doing it for a purpose now and we understand that purpose. Yeah. It's rewarding to know to learn a new culture or to learn yes. something from a new from a culture. Mm -hmm. um, so um, reflecting on the way um, our, the way I do things now, the way I act, the way I move, um, I stop and think about um, will this offend someone? Um, should I say this or should I not say it? Um, I watch my tone as well. Um, I watch the way I communicate, the way I answer questions. I think of my body language a lot more mm -hmm. now. Um, it's made me more aware. I thought I knew a lot about culture because I worked with people from different cultures. So I thought, well, um, I work with different cultures. I'm culturally aware now, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not at all. And I think we're still learning. Yeah. You, you're constantly learning about it. Um, yeah, and, and we're learning from those families. So we, we step back and really mm. listen and, and learn from them. Um, but it's about being aware of our, our own. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I, I found that if we actually um, give a part of ourselves, mm. I found that interesting yeah. on the course, that if we actually um, allow them into our own culture that they will feel comfortable about their own and maybe share a bit of theirs as well. Yeah.